Um, hello? Access denied. Can I come in, please? Access denied. But I have to get in the office. Why not? Oh, come on. Can I get in? Right. I'm just going to have to replace you then. So this is my existing Unify Access Pro Reader, now called the G1, because there's also a G2. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna upgrade it. Um, I've had this for a while. It was one of my first videos on the channel. If you missed that, go and check it out, because it shows all about installing Unify Access from scratch. Um, but there's a new version, and this is now, as Unify tells me, this is now a, uh, a device that looks vastly different. You can see it's all long compared to this teardrop shape because they've listened to how people want to use it and this is now completely redesigned so I'm going to give that a go. Um, it should just be plug and play. I can reuse all the existing equipment, the Access Hub uh, and my Access Light Reader that I put up as well. Um, so I can just plug and play this now. However, <laughs> there's a problem. This is much longer, much, much longer. In fact, it's so long it wouldn't fit here. So I'm going to have to do a bit of construction work before we can install it, but that's okay, we'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll gloss over that, kind of. Um, but first, let's have a look what's in the box and what we actually get and what it looks like. Right, let's, let's get it out of the box. So, this is typical Unifor packaging. So this, come on, ow, get out. Is the G2 professional? Maybe? Hey. Okay, there we go. As always, it's presented lovely, straight up front. Uh, there's the quick start guide in the lid, and there's some foamy material, anyway. Um, so as you can tell, it's very different from the G1. So it has this, um, oh, bit of, for packaging only. Oh, okay, so that's just to protect it a bit. Oh, fair enough. So this is the device, so it obviously sits in the wall there. There's a camera up here, which is a 4K camera. It is, looking at my notes here, 4000 by 3000, 12 megapixel, 30 frames per second. It's a pretty decent upgrade on the camera. Um, I'll show you a bit later the, the other differences. Uh, there's two microphones and there is an, a sensor there, which I think that's the proximity sensor sitting there. And then obviously the display, which we'll see. And then here is where you connect it in with PoE in. That's the same as the old one, so that should be fine. So that's the device. Then there is a mounting bracket here, all made from aluminium, or aluminium, if you're from the land of cheese. And that is what we will probably be mounted on with. I'm not sure if I need both, I probably do. Anyway, we'll find that out. Then here is the level, so we can actually put it up straight, which is handy. Here's a little grommet, which goes on the back of this in here, so that, oh, maybe not there. Does it go here? Oh, but it sits nicely in there, so the cable goes through that. Uh, there's some screws for mounting it. Different ways of mounting it, I suspect. Um, then we have some oh, more bits for, depending on how we sh you want to screw it in, to the wall. And here is the tool for getting it off the mount, I'm assuming. And what else we got? Is there anything else in here? Hello! Installation guide. You scan that. It's all, ooh, this is all silver. Can you see that? Look at that, that's a nice print. We've gone all out on this. Um, here is the gang box mount cover. Come on, get out. There we go. Um, and that's it for the box. Here is, ah, so if you have a gang box and you install it in that, here is the cover that you can put over it so that it sits nicely there, I guess. Something like that. Um, it's another level thing. Oh, this is aluminium as well. And that is for, I guess, mounting it as well? Yeah, mount and cover. So this is for the gang box. If you have a gang box you need to install it on, there's the cover for it, and you put it on there, etc. Or something like that, maybe? Anyway, there's all the bits. Let's put it on the wall, which requires a little bit of construction.
right, so that was a bit of a construction job. We did have to modify bits, but I think it looks all right. Maybe there's a few touch-ups that can be done. Let me know in the comments if you would have done another way. I probably won't, but anyway. Um, all that's left to do now is to go into Unify Access on my UDMSE and adopt the new G2 uh, Pro Reader and then set it up and see what it looks like. So um, yeah, let's do that. I'm especially keen on seeing that camera quality. So 4K, hopefully, should be good. Let's, let, let's do that. So we are now in Unify Access, which is on my UDM-SE. And let's go and find the new uh, Pro Reader. So it should be under here, under Devices. There you go. UA G2 Pro 0963. Great name. Uh, we're going to click to adopt that. And then we're going to try and get all of the cards and profiles onto that reader so that I can use my card like normal. So let's let's click adopt and see what happens. All right, that was really quick. Um, that only took us a second. I am guessing that this, oh, it even says office door entry. That's clever. So it must know that it's been connected to the same hub, which is just above here, which is office door. And then it says office door entry. So I didn't even have to rename it. And access methods, already got those. So they're set on the hub, which access methods. All right, let's try and see. Device version 0.1.119. I'm guessing there's an update for this very soon. Uh, I always have to update devices. All right, well, let's have a look. Let's see what we got. Okay. The device is ready to be updated, updating. As I said, it's updating. All right. Uh, let's just do that, and I'll be right back. Right, so that's now updated. That's done. So let's have a look. Um, see if we can play this here. We should see the camera out there, ready to go. There it is, there's the camera. Oh, that's much clearer, isn't it? Remember the start, the image that we got, the, you know, the opening of the video? Here it is again. Just have a look at the, con the difference in, in quality. All right, here it goes. Um, hello? Can I come in, please? Right? This is so much clearer. Let's see if we made full screen. Oh dear. That's very full screen. Uh, settings, what we got? There's entry, that's correct. That's because I put it into, it is an entry by default, but I also it's using the same um, PoE or same CAT6 as before. I want to use NFC card, that's right. I want to use my NFC. And mobile access, that's the unified identity. If you don't know what unified identity is, I've made a video on that, which is linked. Um, and pin, I don't use a pin, but you can. Uh, display is swipe to call. Yes, that's like before. What else we got? Uh, or disabled. Oh, okay. Doorbell trigger. You can, oh, you can even have that on or off. Right. We're just going to have that on. I use that. Motion detection. So if there's motion detection, then it'll um, record five seconds before, five seconds after for unlocking. And detection sensitivity. Oh, that's if the screen comes on or off. Um, fast, so if you walk up to the screen, it comes on. Very nice. Status light, welcome flashlight. Oh, welcome flashlight. That's a new one. Display brightness, volume, and manage just the usual restart and remove, etc. All right. Okay, that looks pretty straightforward. Um, if you don't know Unify Access in detail, I've also made a video on that, which is linked there. Uh, go and check that out on how to set it up and how to use it, as well as the install, which I linked to at the beginning of the video. Um, but here we got, so the same users. Yeah, on here. So they should now all work. Let's have a look at me. Uh, insight settings. Yeah, I still have that card. And that is in that group. And it's on the office door. Okay. So I think my card should just work without me doing anything. Um, let's just have a look. Okay. So let's try and go and open the door. All right. The door entry here. All right. Let's try that. We'll be right back. All right, so let's see, that should have worked. Let's just try and refresh that. All right, you unlocked the office door 39 seconds ago. All right, fantastic. 
with the NFC card and there's a little recording here you can see very good so there yeah, that worked so that's that's neat so because I connected it to the same hub the upgrade path from G1 to G2 of the the, the pro reader was super simple what took me by far the longest was actually the install which was only a bit in the video but that's cool and obviously I still have to remove the old reader that's fine uh, what else visitors I mean none of this has changed because I haven't changed the actual access here there's still the same policy etc all right so let's just go back to the welcome flashlight so this is as I'm showing you here when you walk up to the door or to the reader rather then the motion sensor if it's dark will actually turn on that welcome flashlight so you can see a little bit of you know below kind of it's, it's quite neat it's a nice light I don't know if it comes across in the photo or the video but it is a really pleasant light so that's kind of neat I, I like that um, yeah so that's the welcome flashlight I'm gonna just leave that on that's kind of cool so um, let me just show you the difference now between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 reader because they seem to do more or less the same things but there are some significant differences so let me just bring those up uh, and I'll be right back so on the left I have the new G2 Reader Pro and on the right I have the G1 now I had to use the Wayback Machine because um, yeah it's completely gone from the Unify website but uh, here we are let's just look at it anyway so you can't actually buy it anymore but just so you know what's been updated um, they're both PoE powered, that's fine. They both have, it says here, high resolution touchscreen. I can't actually find any um, specs on the touchscreen as such, because it says down here, there is no actual data on the touchscreen on the Gen 1. Don't think there is on the Gen 2 either. Um, but they're vastly different design. One's round, one's, you know, rectangular. So, um, but the G1, but, um, is made was made from sort of a plasticky type thing and the new one is polycarbonate and aluminium it's it just feels much better build quality i must say um so i have high hopes for that as you can see it also now has an uh, ip rating a weatherproofing rating of 55 where the uh, old one has a 54 so it's slightly better but the main thing is this camera for me so uh, let's just scroll down here a little bit now there's a lot more detail on actually I should mention here that you can mount this in a gang box if you have this in your electrical box if you have that you can actually mount that in there if you don't know what a gang box is one of these here um those there i'm not sure why would you put it in there but anyway you can so i'm not an electrician i don't understand that exactly put it down in the comments uh if you know so that is another option that they've added and there's a full mounting bracket for it as you saw at the start of the video um it runs on Bluetooth and Ethernet, just as the other one. So all the NFC stuff is the same. It's probably the same chip, I'd imagine. Same NFC reader in there. But the camera is now 4,000 by 3,000. 12 megapixels, 30 frames per second. That is pretty incredible. Um, that's Welcome. a massive Large. upgrade from... It doesn't even say here, but the video is 800 by 600, the one that I downloaded from the camera uh, that you saw at the start of the video. It feels sturdier. Um, it has more information here about, I don't know what all these things are, UL294, UL294 level statement. I'm not sure. Um, if you know, put it in the comments. That might be important. I'm not sure. But um, one thing I do know is that this one is now $359, where the old one was $299. Um, I think the the up the higher cost is probably warranted because it does feel better, better build quality, has a little light in it, etc. Um is it too expensive as it is? I'm not sure. It feels a little bit expensive, but maybe not. I don't have much experience with other products in this range. Uh, let me know what you think. So I really like it. It's, it's a much improvement over the old one. I hope the display is more durable because I did have to replace one on the warranty for the old one, for the G1. Um, so yeah, super simple to set up, super simple to adopt and upgrade from G1 to G2. It just kind of just worked like the old one um and that's it any questions put them down in the comments and as always if you enjoy the content on the channel please consider subscribing um that is the best way that you can support me doing um all the videos so other than that that's it i got nothing else um hmm okay bye